We are on the terraces of Morai. There's probably about 20 of these terraces and they're in a circular shape. These are the Inca stairs. It's unbelievable when you're here in it. We're Alex and Lindsay, two travelers who are exploring South America, when suddenly strict lockdown began leaving us stuck abroad. We've been here for months, and even though lockdown is lifted, things in Peru are far from normal. We're documenting the whole thing and sharing it with you. Good morning from Urubamba. Today we're going to Morai, the ruins of Morai. We'll tell you a little bit more about it in the car. <laughs> so it's six in the morning and we are on our way to Morai ruins. So the Morai ruins are these circular amphitheater like shaped terraces built by the Inca. So there's lots of ruins in Peru, however these are pretty unique. We haven't seen any others that look like this. So we're really excited. We've seen a lot of pictures of this place and it looks awesome. So one thing we've noticed here in Peru is when you pull over to get gas at the petrol stations, you don't have to pump your own gas. There's someone always there to do it for you, which is very different from back home. It's like Oregon in the USA. You're actually not supposed to pump your own gas or you're not allowed. No, they, they don't do allow it. you anywhere here. I think the reason in Oregon, in the USA, the reason they do that is to provide extra jobs for people. So, you're actually not really legally allowed to get your own gas when you drive through Oregon. Which I thought was very weird, but yeah, it seems like the same thing here. So right now we're going through the town of Maras. We were actually here yesterday and then we're going right through because Morai is very close to this town. So if you find yourself in Maras, make sure you get to Morai. If you don't have that much time, you should combine both for a day trip. Lindsay and I have a lot of time, so we didn't combine it, we just came back. You can do it either way. Just arrived. We are at Morai. Look down here. We're glad to have finally made it. The ride here was a bit bumpy. So when you look at maps, if you're in Maras, you think that you can just walk to Morai. You can walk right here. And I guess you could, it's humanly possible, but it's all in the sun and it's a lot further than you would think. If so, you take the road, we don't know if maybe there's like a hidden hiking path where you can cut through, but if you walk on the road where the cars drive, you'll be walking for at least an hour and a half to get here from Mars. We are on the terraces of Morai right now. Look at that. All right, we made it. We are at a spot where we have a view of the entire Morai ruins. So it looks like there's probably about 20 of these terraces and they're in a circular shape. We don't really know why. I'm sure they had a reason. 
They were supposedly built in a certain design that was good for agriculture. So they did studies and they found that the soil here was brought from all over these different regions of Peru. And they think that was for agriculture. Also when we were reading, we found out that there's a 15 degree temperature change from the top terrace to the very bottom one right there. If we had a thermometer, we would try it out and test it out to see if it's true, but we don't. This was kind of like a lab for agriculture because of the different temperature differences, because of the different soils. They can make all these different products in here. Probably potatoes. Peru is known for its potatoes and because the Inca did a bunch of experiments in different, at different levels and different climates with different soils, that's how they have over 2,000 varieties of potatoes in Peru. So we've never seen circular runes like this. We're gonna go down and actually go into them and see what it's like from the bottom. So from far away, you can't really tell how high each of these terraces is, but it's probably seven feet each. Am I echoing? Whoa. This really is like an amphitheater. Say something. Mr. Potato. Woo. Travel bum. Travel bum. Guys, we have this whole place to ourselves. This whole thing, and it's huge. Probably can't tell on camera how big this place is. It's just amazing that it's just us here. Totally quiet, peaceful, only our voices echoing. Now I'm gonna take some Inca stairs. Show them how you climb down the Inca stairs. So these are the Inca stairs. They're built into the sides of these terraces. Look at this. And you'll see it's not just here at Marai. You'll see these Inca stairs built into all the different terraces all around Peru. It's awesome. You can see them wherever you see those little dots. Those are actually rocks jutting out and they made sure to leave those coming out so that they could easily climb these terraces. getting closer to being to the bottom circle here. Peru does not disappoint. This is the second place where I thought mm, maybe the Instagram photos would be better than the actual site, but that is not the case. Mm -hmm. It is actually more impressive in person. It's a lot bigger than you would expect and just beautiful. It's unbelievable when you're here in it up close much much larger than you would expect and the echo <laughs> when you're talking the echo around here it's just it's so powerful you don't even have to yell much and you can hear the echo you think it's hotter or colder as you go down it definitely feels colder down here look at this we have climbed all the way down we're in the center circle now just think what has gone on in this circle in the center of the Morai ruins in the last 500 years. They must have worked so hard to build this. Wow. Another really interesting thing is that even during the rainy season in Peru, this never floods. So they think there must be some sort of underground system that the Incas built. So we just climbed down each of the different levels. And as Lindsay said, there's supposedly a 15 degree difference from the top to the bottom so that they could get all of these microclimates for different crops. And it definitely feels colder down here. <laughs> My hands are freezing. Yeah. And it is the morning time. I think it's probably like almost 8 a.m. So the sun isn't totally on the ruins right now. Just another reason why it's probably cold. So I actually feel warmer down here, whereas Lindsay feels colder. So we don't know if uh, the Inca technology works. <laughs> it's probably just because of the wind. Like I thought the wind was hitting us a lot more up there, but she's saying that she's uh, colder down here. And we didn't actually research to see if it gets warmer or colder at the bottom, but I assume it would get colder at the bottom. 
I assumed that it would get warmer because down here the energy of the sun, the sunlight would get trapped down here on the bottom. <laughs> All right, tell us who's right. Would it get colder at the bottom or warmer? I definitely think colder. I think warmer. Comment below. We want to see who's right. <laughs> oh, our people's reviews. <laughs> okay. Looks like they're kicking us out, but we just found a blue and yellow feather. Show them the feather. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow. All right, let's go. All right, time to leave. Bye-bye, more rooms. We got the whistle blown at us, but we feel very fortunate. We got a whole hour here with no other people. A lot of things have been closed lately. <laughs> And it's really sucked that we can't explore and we're basically stuck at home while we're in Peru because there are so many amazing things to see. But we get to see things for a little while. The trick is you wake up real early in the morning. Yep, so if you're seeing these videos soon, during pandemia, just start getting up early. And that's it, forever. Okay, and now this is the mirror door. So this is the part that you're actually allowed to do right now. Say goodbye to Morai. Let's see what else this day has in store for us. Yeah, we told you guys the roads aren't good here. It's bumpy. Okay, so they closed the road for our way back. So now we're going a different way. We're going a little bit off road here. Hopefully we make it back in one piece. Listen to this car. I'm scared it's gonna fall apart. Ooh, so much dust and dirt everywhere. We don't know where we're going. And I don't think he knows where he's going. Okay, change of course. We just saw a sign for Tio Bamba, which is supposedly an old church or old temple, uh, Spanish. We don't know much about it, but we'll see when we get there. It's... We're trying to see as much as we can around this area since we're here anyway. Yeah, so Tio Bamba, not Kia Bamba. I <laughs> uh, don't know if we've heard of this one, but let's go check it out. There's some donkeys. This is pretty cool, actually. Pero pueden verlo. Bajando pueden verlo. Again, like everything, it is uh, cerrado. We can't go in, but we can at least look through the door here of the front gate. This was a waka, an Inca waka, and then the conquistadors came and they built over it. So yeah, this temple, this church, it's probably 200 years old, 250, but the location is much older. The Inca waka that was here, that must have been 500 years or something like that. A lot of history in Peru, everywhere you go. We know donkeys probably aren't that interesting to Peruvians and to many other people that might be watching this, but to us, we don't see donkeys every day. We love all animals, <laughs> except for maybe spiders. <laughs> but yeah, that's another thing too, is a lot of the animals that might seem very common here to everyone that aren't exciting, uh, we are excited by. Sheep, cows, donkeys, what else? Alpaca, llama, yeah. vicuna, vicuña. All right, let's get back in the car and hopefully find a cool restaurant or something to eat at. This should be cool. There's some human skulls on the shelf. Tapacho mama. This is the best tasting chicha. So this right here is called sapo. Whoever loses has to buy the chicha for everybody else. If we had a thermometer, we would try. <laughs> it is uh, 
I want a different word than incredible. <laughs> it's... <laughs> so we just climbed to... <laughs> Hey guys, we can only do so much on YouTube and we only put out a video every two or three days. So if you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram, find us at Alexander Travel Bum, and that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.